sorry. I got the eight star power level! You don't look so good. <laughs> <laughs> Way to go, Lucky! Huh? <laughs> Episode 29, Don't Die, The Law of Tenko! Yeah? I couldn't have reached this level without you. Thanks for everything. Well, uh... Mm hmm. Hmm. Boy, you sure are a mess, Weki. Just hang on a moment and I'll have you patched up in no time. Don't worry about it. My body will heal itself. Hey, Tenko, what's next? What's the test like for the 9-star power level? Hmm? Uh... I think it has something to do with balance. Balance, huh? Well, that sounds easy enough. Ow! Ugh, I'm doing my best, you know. It would sure help if you could hold Take still. Take easy, I. Don't be such a baby. You're really banged up. Why can't you take better care of yourself? A celestial beast can only grant up to seven stars. This one must really hurt. When you acquire the ninth star, I will die. I guess I shouldn't tell Kosuke about any of this, because if he knew, he'd probably refuse to take the test to attain the nine-star level. For my sake. He needed the strength only a beast like me can give him. If I can help him accomplish what he has to do, then my life will have served its purpose. There we go. All finished. Now, let's have something to eat. How am I supposed to eat? I brought the stuff for a picnic. So what do you say, Tenko? Sure. Uh, I? What did you say this was? Huh? What do you mean, Uwaki? It's lunch! I made it because I knew you guys would be hungry after all you've been through! But I'll admit it didn't turn out like I wanted. Uh, you can say that again. I'm finished, thank you. But you haven't eaten anything! Huh? Oh! You know what? This is actually good! Thanks, Tanko. I sure hope you're right. Maybe I am a little hungry. Uh. No way! You lost your chance, Buster! Huh? You can eat as much as you want, okay, Tanko? Hey! I said you couldn't have any! Tanko was right. This tastes pretty good, even though it looks kind of disgusting. Oh, yeah? you'd make. I bet it would look a lot worse than that. Let me eat it. You didn't want to. Uh, no, I do. Let go. I never imagined that I'd have to see such happy days again. It's been so long. <laughs> this 
place reminds me of a few hundred thousand years ago when I was just a little kid. I used to spend my days running around with those celestial children. But when I grew up and got bigger and bigger, they started to fear me. I had become a nuisance. They accused me of things I hadn't done, and in the end, I was locked up in an underworld prison cell. Several hundred thousand years went by, and I lost all hope. I thought I would live out the rest of my days in that hole. Until the day that man appeared before me. Ah! I'll be sorry to leave these two. I'm gonna miss them. <laughs> Kosuke, I'll need huh? three days to recover from the Awakening Chamber. You can take the nine-star level test after that. Right. I'll be ready. That means I only have three days left to live. But I have no regrets. I've lived a full life. I guess I've been around long enough. <sighs> okay. You're telling me that Hideyoshi's agreed to be on our team? Let's think about this for a minute. If he were to win this whole thing, that Zack guy would become king. And I, for one, don't want that to happen. So are you sure about Hideyoshi? There's nothing to worry about there. Honestly, Nero was supposed to be my king candidate in the first place. Rescuing him from the underworld is my top priority. I'd rather have Mr. K or Wonko become king. So honestly, you don't have to worry about Zack becoming king. I have absolutely no intention of becoming champion. That's exactly what he said. Well, that sure is a relief. While we're on the subject, what's your candidate like, Rinko? Yeah, you know, I've been wondering about that myself. Hmm... I guess I haven't said much about it yet, have I? The candidate in charge of me is a man by the name of Mickey. He's one of Margaret's lackeys, and the only reason he joined the battle in the first place was to help build Robert's team. I haven't seen him at all since he granted me my power. I'm with you guys. Mr. K or Wonko should become king. So I have no intention of fighting for my candidate either. Hmm? What's the matter, Ueki? Rinko just reminded me of my candidate. I haven't seen Yo-Chan for quite a while now either, that's all. Oh! Um, Ueki? If Yo-Chan were here, I'd tell him right to his face. I'll fight, but to make Mr. K or Wonko king of the Celestial World, not him. Who could blame you? Yo-Chan doesn't deserve your support, especially since we discovered that he answers to Margaret. Why would you fight for him? How could he show his face after that? Uh, yeah, any candidate who would want his own fighter to retire from the battle doesn't deserve to be a candidate for Celestial King in the first place. If we ever do see him again, we should teach him a lesson he'll never forget. I'm sorry, I'm sorry! I'd be happy enough just to become an aide to the king. That's all I really want. Listen, you guys, it's not like I swore allegiance to Margaret or anything. I'm so sorry. Please forgive me, please. Margaret doesn't want anything to do with me anymore, and there's nowhere left for me to go. <laughs> yeah, right. I don't believe a word you're saying. And besides, what makes you think that we would ever trust you again? I? Huh? Only Ueki can make this decision. Yo-Chan is his king candidate. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah, sure, why not? I'll forgive you. But, huh? Ueki! I can't believe it! But I meant what I said before. There's no way you'll ever become king. Are you okay with that? I can live with that! Being a king is too much responsibility. When I said I'd rather be an aide, I meant it. Okay. If Mr. K or Wonka become king, I'll put in a good word for you. And maybe you'll get what you want. Ah! Thank you, thank you, thank you, Ueki! You won't regret this, sir. I, Yo-Chan, am at your service. I will do everything in my power to help you in any way I can. I'm sorry, but I still don't feel like I can trust this guy. So, I was wondering, what are you going to do when all this is over, Tenko? Will you go back to the Celestial World? No. I was kicked out and sent to an underworld prison, which I eventually broke out of to come here. There's no way I could ever return. Then you should just stay here with us. Mm -hmm. We could be together forever. <sighs> we 
we could be together forever. There's no reason I couldn't stick around a little while longer. At least until Kosuke has to face an opponent he'll need the 9-star level to defeat. I sure wouldn't mind enjoying a few more of these peaceful days. That wouldn't be so wrong, would it? I was so lonely in that prison cell for all those thousands of years. I'd feel bad about deceiving Kosuke. Though, it might be worth it. I'm sure he'll understand if I tell him there's something wrong with the Awakening Chamber. What was that? I can't see anything. <laughs> hey, Kosuke? <laughs> hey, Kosuke? Oh, Tenko, sorry. I didn't mean to wake you up. It's just that I didn't want to leave you at home without me because my dad or sis might find you. No problem, but you shouldn't be training before your injuries from the last test have completely healed. Don't worry. I'm not doing anything too hard. I'm just trying to work on my balance to get ready for the next level. That's what it's all about, right? I don't want to waste any time. I have to get stronger every day. Mr. K and Wonko are counting on me now. Yeah, okay, Kosuke. I'm really gonna need you tomorrow, Tenko. Now let's see if I can walk up this railing. <clears throat> okay, if that's the way you want it. Forgive me for being so selfish, Kosuke. My life was empty and meaningless until you came along. There's no way I'm ever gonna betray your trust. You can count on me, Kosuke. I've lived long enough. I'd willingly give up my life for you. Hideyoshi should be arriving any minute. So what's this Hideyoshi person like anyway? Um, let's see. He's tricky and has kind of a monkey... <laughs> Oh. <laughs> hey, what are you doing here? I thought it might be a good idea for me to meet this guy since he's a member of our team. And whether or not I get to be aid to the next king does depend a lot on his abilities. Oh. Hey, why are you guys turning your backs on me? You still don't trust me, do you? I'm not sure I believe him. Do you? Not really. Come on! Huh? Wait a minute. Where did Wacky go? The Awakening Chamber to take the Nine Star level test. What? Are you sure he knows what he's doing? What are you getting at? Yeah, what do you mean? You don't know, do you? Tenko's gonna die? But why? What are you talking about, Yo-chan? Once the Celestial Beast grants the power of a seventh star, its body becomes weaker and weaker until it eventually dies. I can't believe you didn't know that. Wait, just a minute! How could he let this happen? I never heard him say anything like that. Unless... He doesn't know! I've got to stop this! You can't! It's too late! Once he's inside the Awakening Chamber, he won't even be able to hear you! <sighs> then I'm just gonna have to stop him before he goes in! Oweki would never willingly let Tenko sacrifice his life just to gain another level! He'd never forgive himself for that! Oh, uh, you're probably right! Uh, huh? <sighs> That hurt! I'm sorry. Honestly, are you okay? Uh, honestly? <gasps> Hideyoshi! Oh, I. Mm. I'm in a hurry. I gotta go. Huh? Hold it right uh... there. Mm -hmm. mm. All right, let's do this! Okay. Mm. Hmm? W what's the matter, Tenko? Oh, it's nothing. Don't worry about it. Are you ready? Yeah, any time, Tenko. The nine-star power level. All right. I'm gonna have the coaching beast explain the test to you, so pay attention. I am the coaching beast for the nine-star level. Please listen while I explain the test. We've had some good times. The tens of thousands of years I spent in that underworld prison cell seemed like nothing the moment I met you. 
Even though our time together was relatively short, Kosuke, I enjoyed every minute. I never knew that Yo-Chan was a six-star celestial who could use Rika. Please, don't die, Tenko. This is it. I'm glad I spent my final days serving Kosuke. I have no regrets. Tenko! Where's Ueki? He's already inside preparing for the test. <gasps> no! You can't do this! Let him out! If Ueki earns the nine-star level, that means your life is over, doesn't it? I see. So, you found out then. My mind's made up. There's no turning back now. It wouldn't have mattered anyway. I was determined to make Kosuke a nine-star. We're too late. <sighs> Tenko! Hi! Huh? Ueki, you've got to stop this! Ueki! Forget it! It's pointless! He can't hear you, I! Please! Listen to me, Ueki! The test begins when the entrance closes. Sure. Oh, I forgot to ask you. Are you at least 130 centimeters tall? Do you have any heart trouble? Are you pregnant? Wacky, hear me! Wacky! Wacky! Please hear me! Wacky! Please! Hear me! Wacky! I'm on my way. What's this? <gasps> I Just keep on shouting to him. I'll change your voice into portraits and make them appear inside Tenko's belly. <gasps> mm. Oweki! Listen, if you become a nine star, he'll die! Can you hear me? Tenko will die if you become a nine star! What? Is that true, Tenko? So now you know. Why didn't you tell me? If I'd known, I wouldn't have taken this stupid test in the first place. I'd rather die in battle than become a non-star and lose you. If that's your choice. Lucky. You should have said something. It wasn't fair to let me take the test without knowing the consequences. Maybe you're right. I should have told you. But if I had, I know you would never have chosen to take that test. Well, of course not! Then where would you be? Without the use of an awakening chamber, it takes at least five years to gain a single star. Then that's what I'll have to do. I'll train as hard as I can and prove that it can be done in less than five years. What? You fool, that's impossible! No, it's not! <sighs> I'll show you I can do it. <sighs> Listen, Kosuke. We celestial beasts take great pride in being able to serve the celestials. However, when I was banished from the celestial world and imprisoned in the underworld for all those years, I lost sight of what it meant to be needed. In time, I even forgot how to trust anyone. But you believed in me and showed me how it felt to be needed again. Can't you see that I want to serve you, Kosuke? Please let me do what I was meant to do! Oh, Tenko. You're right. I remember. I did say that I needed you. And nothing's changed. In fact, I need you now more than I ever have. So then you... But you're misunderstanding something. Huh? The reason I need you has absolutely nothing to do with what you can do for me. You mean much more to me than that. <sighs> Tenko, you're my friend. And being a friend to someone is about so much more than what they can do for you or what you can do for them. It's all about liking someone for who they are. I just like being around you. And there's no way I'm gonna lose you just so I can pass some stupid test! Did you say friends? <laughs> From now on, you and me will be friends, okay? We're gonna be together forever. <laughs> friends. That's what that girl called me all those years ago. I was just a kid, and I believed her. The days that followed were the most carefree and precious days of my whole life. Tanko.
the help of the Awakening Chamber. <laughs> yeah! Friends. <laughs> Thank you, Kosuke. You will never know how much this means to me. <laughs> I look forward to each and every day that I get to spend with you, my friend. But got what? I'm figuring out what's gonna happen in the second round. Do you mean to tell me that you haven't got that worked out yet? Hmm. Here's what's gonna happen.